This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and if you've been with me for a while, you may remember video 1088, in which I featured this absurdly proportioned bike lock made by Altor. They call it the Safe Lock, with SAF standing for Strong as F. Well, the folks at Altor recently reached out to me and let me know they were expanding the SAF line with trailer coupler locks. This beast of a lock is a prototype of the Altor SAF Model 2516. As that model number suggests, this is for 2 and 5 16 inch couplers, though I believe they also have a Model 2000 for 2 inch couplers. This behemoth weighs in at about 20 pounds, which is roughly the weight of 50 Master Lock number 3s. Altor says it's the first trailer lock designed specifically to resist power tools, and it does that with these radiating hardened steel fins. Drilling and sawing through the hard material would probably damage tooling, and the fins make it such that using an angle grinder, you'd have to cut pieces off of this for a while before you got to anything of consequence. That task would also probably involve several blade and battery changes. As for the core and picking, this is a disc detainer core made in the style of the old Abloy profile cylinders. It's hidden under this solid steel cap, which alone weighs over half a pound and a fair bit of drill protection. There are no commercially available tools for picking this, at least nothing made in quantity, though some of you may recall that when I encountered the safe bike lock, I made a tool specifically for these cylinders. And that's what we're going to use now. But before I can use this, we need to turn all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to insert the tensioning portion of the tool. That goes all the way to the bottom on disc number eight. Okay, and then we insert the pick tip. Okay, we tension off of disc eight, and let's find disc number seven. That one's a little bit loose, might be a zero cut. Number six, little click, it's still rubbing. Let's take it a little bit farther. Another click, we may have just gone past a false gate. That feels like it might be in a true gate. Number five. Five is definitely loose. Little click out of four. Four feels like it could be set. Click out of three. Three feels set. Nothing on two or one. Let's go back down to the bottom. I just touch disc number eight and it started turning and we got this open. Okay, folks, it didn't take me too long to open this, though it does require some skill and I did have to make a custom tool. As such, it's probably good enough for almost all purposes. As for its physical prowess and resistance to brute force, simply put, it's one of the best you can buy. So despite its absurd proportions, this is something that I would not hesitate to use. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.